the speaker of the Memorial of the Assembly and the previous Governor here, Professor Kate Stratton, the Chief Keynote Speaker, together with Professor Scott Smale, who is also another Chief Keynote Speaker, Dr. Lerokotse Lale, the Director of the Botswana Health Institute, Honorable members from the Republic of Kenya who are here, led by the Chair of the Health Committee of the Midori County Assembly, Honorable George Okimi Mamba, together with this inquiry, and I also have to acknowledge the presence of the Speaker of the Midori County Assembly, Right Honorable Honorable Charles Oliver Kwa, who is a former member of Parliament of the Midori, the Chief Officer of Health, Ministry of Health. Honorable uh, Tom Yakaba, Director of Clinical Services, Republic of Kenya, Anansi Bocha, Registrar of the Uganda Agri Health Professional Council, Patrick Mpema. We also have uh, Chief Officers from different uh, delegations, President of uh, different organizations or heads of associations, including Sekale uh, Mirma, all the way from Ethiopia. And we also have the Organizing Director of Agoka International, Chris Oliji, together with the entire executive of Agoka International, uh, and Agoka East Africa chapter that is led, and you can officially say that now, Sir Helen Gilma Mujogra was elected and post as the incoming chairman of Agoka Eastern Africa, together with her team. All protocols observed. I want to thank the first vice president of this beautiful country for attending the first East Africa Clean Producers Conference and accepting our invitation and also representing the president of Zanzibar, His Excellency Dr. Ali Mwini, who is also a colleague, medical doctor by profession. And we also want to thank the State University of Zanzibar for allowing us to host this first ever East Africa Clinical Officers Conference. We thank you so much uh, for having enabled this event to be a success. Uh, I can confirm that there are a total of uh, 200 international delegates from Tanzania, and I can say from Zanzibar, because Zanzibar is part of Tanzania, if you read the history. Zanzibar uh, being a country and then Zanzibar being a country the United States of Zanzibar. So 200 guests from this country spread across all the countries that have been featured are here with us and we are so much grateful and it is uh, being one of this kind and with this uh, population then I can say that East Africa is facing for greatness and as the first vice president uh, we had a discussion with the first vice president before we came here that a need for a, a, a legal framework for joint regulatory is needed because if you look at the medical doctors and the nurses, they have a joint regulatory body in the East Africa community or the East African framework. So that this conference, one of the key agendas is the formation of that joint regulatory body. And you can recall the Lakota East Africa team visited the East African Parliament earlier on, and we were hosted by the chair of the health committee, Dr. Davis, uh, Mr. Ewan Davis Mamara from Uganda, who was so passionate about us introducing a private bill at the East Africa Legislature Assembly. But at that time, the Lakota, who said, put us in Ghana. I uh, could not undertake that until we have to release our work over this chapter, uh, where the headquarters are in Bambara, Uganda, and the entire leadership is there. So, from that moment, we decided that we engaged that honorary chair to come up with a private deal to reach a goal at the East African Parliament, so that at the end of it, that deal when it comes along, uh, a formation of a joint regulatory body uh, will be. Vision, so that someone from Zanzibar, who is a clinical officer, a graduate of diploma in clinical medicine from State University of Zanzibar, can easily work in Kenya, Uganda, 